African mythology is a vast and diverse body of knowledge passed down through generations by oral traditions, storytelling, and religious practices. Its mythologies are deeply rooted in the cultures, social systems, and natural environments of the continent. Among the many themes in African mythology, one of the most profound and frequently recounted is the origin of death. This narrative varies widely among different African ethnic groups and regions, yet certain common motifs can be found. The myths surrounding the origin of death seek to explain a mystery that has puzzled humanity for millennia, why living beings must inevitably die. In many African cultures, death is not viewed merely as an end to existence, but as a transition between different stages of life. The world of the living and the world of the dead are often seen as closely interconnected, with the dead sometimes continuing to play roles in the affairs of the living. Yet the question persists, why did death come to be? Why must humans, animals, and plants all eventually perish? Different African communities have crafted stories that answer these questions, and these stories often emphasize the role of divine beings, animals, and even human error. One of the most well-known myths concerning the origin of death comes from the Zulu people of Southern Africa. In this myth, there were once two messages sent by God to humanity. One was a message of life, the other a message of death. God, or Unkalunkalu, sent the chameleon to deliver the message of eternal life to humans. The chameleon, however, was slow and dawdled on its journey. In the meantime, Unkalunkalu sent a second messenger, the lizard, to deliver the message of death. Unlike the chameleon, the lizard moved swiftly and arrived first, proclaiming that death was to be the fate of humankind. By the time the chameleon arrived with the message of life, it was too late, and thus, death became a permanent part of human existence. The myth underscores the fragility of life and the seemingly arbitrary way in which death was introduced. In another version from the Akan people of Ghana, the origin of death is attributed to human greed and disobedience. According to this myth, the Supreme God created humans with the ability to live forever. However, humans were warned not to disturb a specific tree in the forest. Temptation got the better of them, and they broke the divine rule, cutting down the tree. In doing so, they brought death upon themselves. This myth emphasizes human culpability in bringing death into the world, as well as the consequences of ignoring divine commandments. The tree, in many African myths, symbolizes life, fertility, and continuity, making its destruction powerful metaphor for the introduction of death. The Yoruba people of Nigeria have their own myth about the origin of death, closely tied to the relationship between humans and gods. In Yoruba mythology, Lejimer, the supreme being, created the world and all living things. Initially, humans were immortal, and the world was without death. However, humans became prideful and arrogant, believing that they no longer needed to offer sacrifices or respect the deities. In response, the gods petitioned Elajimer to introduce death as a way of humbling humanity. Death, in this sense, is not a punishment but a reminder of the need for humility, reverence, and the recognition of divine power. It was seen as a necessary balance to the hubris that had overtaken the human race. The myths of the Luo people of East Africa offer a slightly different explanation for the origin of death. In their tradition, humans were initially immortal, and death was unheard of. However, a tragedy unfolded that introduced death into the world. In this myth, a woman lost her child, and in her grief, she pleaded with God to bring the child back to life. Her constant weeping and lamentations moved the Creator and the child was indeed revived. However, in doing so, the balance of life was disturbed. From that point on, death became a reality for all living beings, as the resurrection of the child set a precedent that could not be undone. This myth reflects the complex emotions surrounding death, grief, loss, and the desire to reverse the inevitable, and how these emotions are woven into the fabric of life. In Central Africa, among the Banta peoples, 
Myths of the origin of death often involve the figure of a god or spirit who controls life and death. In one tale, a deity called Leza gave humans the gift of immortality, but with a condition. They were to never ask for it directly. One day, a woman, overcome by the suffering of her people, begged Leza to take back the gift of life so that her people might be freed from pain and hunger. In her desperation, she did not realize that she was asking for death. Leza granted her wish, and from that day forward, death was part of the human experience. The myth reflects the tension between life and suffering, as well as the unintended consequences of human desires. A more abstract concept of death is found in the mythologies of the Dogon people of Mali. For the Dogon, death is tied to the cosmos and the creation of the universe. According to Dogon cosmology, the world was created by the god Ama, who formed the earth out of clay. However, the initial act of creation was flawed, and this imperfection led to the birth of death. For the Dogon, death is not merely an end, but a continuation of the cosmic cycle. The dead return to the earth, where they help to fertilize the soil and bring forth new life. In this view, death is seen as part of a natural and necessary process that maintains the balance of the universe. West African myths, particularly among the Igbo people of Nigeria, also provide rich explanations for the origin of death. In one myth, Chukwu, the supreme god, created a ladder that connected the earth and the sky, allowing humans to travel freely between the two realms. When humans died, they could simply ascend the ladder to join their ancestors in the heavens. However, over time, humans began to abuse this privilege, using the ladder for trivial reasons and disrespecting the divine order. In anger, Chukwu removed the ladder, making death final and irreversible. This myth highlights themes of human irresponsibility and the consequences of violating divine law. In the rich pantheon of African mythology, death is often portrayed not as an enemy or a malevolent force, but as a necessary part of life. Whether introduced through divine intervention, human error, or cosmic balance, death is seen as a profound mystery, one that has always been intertwined with the existence of living beings. The myths that explore the origin of death are deeply symbolic, addressing not only the fear of death, but also the importance of life, community, and the relationship between humans and the divine. In African traditions, these stories are more than just explanations. They are moral lessons, reminders of the need for humility, reverence, and respect for the natural order of the world. Whether through the slow chameleon, the greedy humans, or the tragic resurrection of a child, the myths of death underscore the fragility of life and the need to honor the delicate balance that sustains it. Death, in the end, is not merely an end but a transition, a return to the earth or the ancestors, ensuring the continuity of life in another form. The richness of African mythology offers a nuanced and multi-layered understanding of death, not as a simple consequence but as a deeply integrated part of the human experience. The stories reflect the diverse ways in which African cultures have grappled with the ultimate question of mortality, providing a spiritual framework through which to understand the inevitable and mysterious force of death. Through these myths, the origin of death is not just a story of loss but also of transformation, teaching that death, though painful, is an essential part of the cycle of life.